and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Royals by Lord on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you'd like to learn. I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the moon. So this song is going to be really great for beginners because if you want to sing it in the same key as Lord, you will not need a capo at all. And um, there's also only three chords to play the entire song and they're all like basic chords with easy fingerings. So it should be pretty fun and um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with those chords. We're driving Cadillacs in our dreams. Everybody's like crystal, maybe I've done it. Okay, so the first chord you need to know is D, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that, you need to know C, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is G, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And those are the only three chords you need to know for this song. Okay, so once you have those chords memorized and you can transition between them and you know the fingerings and things like that for the chords, then let's go ahead and move on and I want to show you guys a strumming chord. The strumming pattern I have to show you guys is a little bit detailed but we can break it up into smaller sections so that I can explain it to you. And the cool thing about this strumming pattern is that um, you can use it for the entire song and all you have to do is kind of change the way your right hand is playing and it'll make it sound completely different. So let's go ahead and go into what I mean by that. So before we get into the more detailed or complicated strumming, um, let's go ahead and go through the entire song and just play each chord once with a downstroke. And I always suggest you do this first just so you know where you're doing those transitions. So uh, let's go ahead and go through the beginning together and I'll show you what I mean. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies. And I'm not proud of my So you pretty much just want to take that through the entire song and um, just don't worry too much about strumming, just strum it once on a downstroke and do the entire song so you know where all those transitions are. And once it makes sense to you and you kind of know where to expect them, then let's go ahead and continue and I will take you through a strumming pattern that you can use for the entire song. Okay, so for this strumming pattern, I'm going to go ahead and give you the entire pattern right here. I know that this is kind of a lot, but um, like I said earlier, if you learn this strumming pattern, you can use it for the verses as well as the choruses, and you can make it sound just a little bit different by adding a palm mute, but we'll go into that in just a second. So why don't you guys go ahead and put your D chord on and try to play this through with me. We have down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up. It's a lot, I know, but once you get the rhythm, it'll sound a lot better. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Okay, one more time. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up. So a lot of the times in this pattern, whenever you play the upstroke, it's going to be kind of like an afterthought of a downstroke. It's almost like a secondary beat. So now let's go ahead and work on that rhythm a little bit. We have down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down. Thank you. 
So you can kind of hear when you put it in rhythm that most of the upstrokes serve as kind of like a filler. The main beat that you hear is going to come from your downstrokes. So the reason why the upstrokes are kind of important is just so when you put it all together, it'll make your guitar sound a little bit more full with all of the chords that you'll be playing. I know that this strumming pattern is a little bit more complicated than some of my other tutorials, but it is very versatile because we can change it up so much once we understand how to do it. So the other thing that's really great about this song is that the chord progression is pretty much the same. It's going to go from D to C to G for the entire song, and what you're going to do is you're going to hold this pattern out twice for D, and then play it once for C and G. So let's go ahead and go through an example. Go ahead and put your D chord on. We're going to play this strumming pattern twice. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Then we switch to our C chord and we play it through once. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And then switch to G and play it through once. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down. all of that together, we're going to play through the strumming pattern twice for D, once for C, and once for G. You ready? Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, twice. C, G, again, D, twice. Once you get that down, that's going to stay the same throughout the entire song. And we'll never be royal. change up this strumming pattern to make it sound a little bit different so we can kind of distinguish between when we're playing the pre-chorus versus the chorus. So the only thing I'm going to change about this pattern to help me distinguish that is I'm going to add a little bit of a palm mute with my playing, my right playing hand and all I'm doing is while I'm strumming this, I'm going to rest the side of my hand against the strings. Um, I have a lot of people commenting about how this is kind of hard, so I will definitely make a TMT tutorial for you guys about how to improve on this. But um, just for now, just know that it doesn't sound so pretty when you do it at this tempo, but when you speed it up, it kind of makes it more percussive and it has a very cool rhythm when you do it faster. So make sure that when you're practicing through the strumming pattern, you kind of speed it up a bit before you try putting in the palm mute. But let's go ahead and go through what an example of that would sound like with this pattern, but also with a palm mute. So we have D, C, G, D, twice, C, G. You'll notice that the cool thing about adding this palm mute is that now whenever we're playing a downstroke, it's kind of muted, but then when you play the upstroke, your hand should not be muting the strings anymore, so when you play an upstroke, it'll kind of ring. So we have down versus up. Okay, so now let's practice through what the pre-chorus would sound like with our mute and also with all of those chord transitions with this strumming pattern. You ready? Let's put down our D chord and we have down, 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 up, down, up, up, down.
now just remember that when we play through the song, you can use those, you know, one downstroke strumming, the practice strumming pattern, for whenever you're transitioning between a verse and a chorus. And then between the pre-chorus and the chorus, we're going to do a palm mute on the pre-chorus. But then we're going to let it ring for the chorus. And I think that adding in all these different details will really help distinguish each part of the song from song when Lord is singing it, you know the beginning um, starts out more as a rhythm, there's not really many chords. So if you're doing this for performance, I would suggest maybe trying to mimic the original song by doing a sort of percussive beat on your guitar. And you can kind of tap on it and it'll make different sounds and you can kind of experiment with that if you're planning on doing a cover. Um, I'll have a little box right here of me making that percussive sound, but I'll also show you what it would sound like if you played along with it with your chords. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the moons And I'm not proud of my dress In the torn up town, no postcode envy Every song's like gold teeth, gay goose tripping in the bathroom Bloodstains, ball gowns, trash in the hotel my tutorial please make sure to check out my other tutorials here these are going to be more detailed and um, a little bit more for intermediate level guitar players or if you're comfortable with this level of guitars then definitely click on this playlist and it'll take you to more simple tutorials just like this one that you can check out as I always say please make sure to like this video down below if you found it helpful as well as subscribe to my channel so that you know every time I upload a new video 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!